My name is Bridget McGowan Hawkins, and what I do is I help people be better professionals, better presenters, better leaders. Thank you for letting me spend a little bit of time with you this morning. Welcome to Making Teens Thirsty, Leading Through Accountability and Trust, or Trust and Accountability, whichever way you want to put it. This is the deal. You can spot a leader from a mile away. You can tell a person is a leader. Maybe it's in the way he walks. Maybe it's in the way she talks. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you know there's something there. There's those intangibles, those characteristics that set that person apart. And that is what we'll spend our time talking about this morning. What I want you to do, I want you to stand up, lean back, and I want you to holler out the underlined phrase. I, I want you to do this, seriously, I want you to do this. I, I want you to stand up, and on the count of three, I want you to stand up, lean back. <laughs> no, you, Kim, Kim, Kim is really leading. Lean back, take a, take a good breath, and on the count of three, I want you to read the underlined phrase that fits with what grows trust and motivation. One, two, three. Make things happen, yes, have a seat. Thank you so much. So what I want to highlight today is four best practices. You see, what happens if we are disloyal, if we are untrustworthy, if we are dishonest, even if someone doesn't see it, if it happens, all of a sudden I feel a certain way about you. I still have to be careful. I need to make sure that what I do all the time, I am upstanding, I am loyal, I am trustworthy, even if nobody sees it. If I put this up on the screen and I said, you wash your hands with soap, soap, soap. You get it? So here's the next one. You tie things down with a rope, rope, rope. If you're thirsty, although you really should drink water instead. If you're thirsty, you drink a Coke, Coke, Coke. <laughs> the white of an egg is the? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> the white of an egg <laughs> is the albumin. It's easy for us to slip into a pattern and continue to do things the same way we've always done. So my second best practice is to be resourceful. Try not to slip into a pattern. I will sit and try to figure out this problem, this glitch with my website or whatever the case may be, instead of just picking up the phone and calling one of my good friends out on the East Coast, who is a, a, a tech wizard, and just asking her. But I don't want to bother her because I figure she's got plenty of other things to do. Bother people, okay? If you leave out of here with nothing else, Yes, you are leaders, you are outstanding leaders. And outstanding leaders bother other people to help get the job done. For the most part, we would follow Leader B, but do we know why we would follow Leader B? Anyone? Inspirational. Yes. Respect, positive, who said that? Tell me your name, please. Claudia, very good, and tell me your name. Amy says trust. Absolutely, positivity and the trustworthy factor. But I want to talk about the positivity piece. Effective leaders are optimistic, even when things are looking like they're headed down the tubes, even when numbers are in the red. Whatever the case may be, we still remain optimistic. Nobody wants to follow someone who is negative all the time, someone who frowns at rainbows, somebody who is always finding something wrong. Uh-oh, do you know people like that who frown at rainbows? We're just gonna keep on moving. We're gonna keep it moving. You see, whatever happens right there in the moment, that is what we latch on to. And all of a sudden we might paint subconsciously or otherwise with a broad brush, the entire circumstance is just like this one moment right here. No challenge is ever as bad as it is at any one moment. As a leader, you see the whole highway, you see the whole trip, you see the whole picture. Effective leaders see the bigger picture and remind their teams of the long-term vision. My final point in my list of four best practices is an effective leader knows how to communicate effectively. So this should be a little bit of fun. 
Listening is just as important, if not more important, than actually talking. Very good. Oh my goodness. So what about this one, true or false? Your body language can speak more loudly than your verbal language. Is that true or false? True. Oh my goodness. What if I came in here and just kind of leaned over on the leg? Okay, today we're going to talk about trust and accountability. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> right. You get the point. You've had some people who will come by your, your work area and just kind of look in. Oh, nope, not today. I'll come back to us. <laughs> All right. All right. Very nice. This session was brought to you by B. McHawk Talks. We offer coaching, workshops, webinars, as well as all kinds of advice on our B log or blog. It's all about B. <laughs> and this is where we believe in helping you be seen, be great, be heard. Check us out also at BridgetMcGowanHawkins.com. Thank you so much. And don't forget about the blog post too for you. Thank you so much.